she has not left my chest like all night. She slept in my arms all morning. How did I get so lucky? Yeah, you. Not doing the best. I'm really angry with myself. I'm more just sad, I guess, with myself. I realize like I do I always do fine on my own and then um like I'm a pro at taking care of myself then when I get into a relationship I lose myself I don't know I'm taking a break from my hunger games marathon I'm gonna do this because I can't do much but at least I could do this <sighs> really weird this is like the most like numb I felt in a long time I think about like breakups in the past I was always like extremely emotional like I could not even control it and so like I had to go on self-medicate and whatever or go do self-destructive things or I don't know. And then usually I get that out of my system and then I get back on track in like a self-care mode. Um, but right now there's no desire to go use. There's no desire to self-destruct or anything. I'm just feeling numb and then hopefully, I don't know, I'll get back in my groove, start taking care of myself again. Right now, I'm just gonna let myself be a little sad and depressed. I'm not gonna be mad at myself for feeling depressed. I'm just gonna let myself feel depressed. I'm just gonna go through it. Oh. That's where I'm at. I feel like these are times in the past like I would call my girlfriends, but I don't really have any friends anymore because I lost them all like the beginning of active addiction but I got through the absolute horrific agonizing dark times by myself and I I, I pull myself out of that so I can I, I, I trust myself that I can do it again that I can get through anything, get back on my feet, but I'm just not right there yet. I saw this thing that was like years ago that said, you get three days to be sad if something bad happens. Give yourself three days of no rules, whatever you want, do whatever, be sad, lay on the couch, watch TV, eat whatever, cry. And then after day three, it's like, get up and get going. So. Maybe I'll try to do that. It's a gloomy day, huh? What are you doing, beautiful? Come here, lady. See you and me, girl. See you and me, girl. I just want to say thank you. I am reading your guys' comments on uh, my last video. And I love all the support and just the love that you guys are sending to me and Nove. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your kind words. It means a lot. Very late in the day, but I'm still gonna take my vitamins. <laughs>
The basis for your gratitude is my sovereignty. I am the creator and controller of the universe. Heaven and earth are filled with my glorious presence. When you criticize or complain, you're acting as if you think you could run the world better than I do. From your limited human perspective, it may look as if I am mismanaging things, but you don't know what I know or see what I see. If I pulled back the curtain to allow you to view the heavenly realms, you would understand much more. However, I've designed you to live by faith, not by sight. I lovingly shield you from knowing the future or seeing into the spirit world. Acknowledge my sovereignty by giving thanks in all circumstances. I'm trying. <laughs> it's hard because when like breakups happen, like your love just doesn't stop for that person. So you just have to like carry on with still being in love with the person that's not here anymore and it's tough. But I'm really lucky to have been with someone who is so mature and kind and um, handled pretty well, which is saying something because not my past breakups have never been like this. So um, I'm very thankful for the, the man that he is for it to be going this um respectfully and kindly and still doesn't change the fact that it sucks but it's not toxic which is which is I'm immensely grateful for we both want the best for each other and each other to be happy and it's not it's like it's like you feel the loss of like a friend like a best friend so it's tough we're gonna take it minute by minute no, but it's like the only thing that makes me feel better. So like every five minutes, I like pause my movie and I come and give her kisses. I'll be back in five, Nova. <laughs> she came down from her tower. Thank you so much. Sometimes I yank her down from there, but I didn't want to do that today. And then she came down and started meowing for me. Want to watch Hunger Games? We're still on the third one. We keep getting distracted and watching Instagram cooking videos. Oh, thank you. Oh, girl, thank you for the free facial. What are you doing? You love the computer. Okay, lady. It's lightning outside. Buddha, it's raining. You hear the dove? Is it thunderstorm in the house? 